Hi guys, so in a previous video, I talked about how I'm a crafty person. I really enjoy making things, and one of the things that I like to do is crochet and hand knit. A lot of gifts that I have done, I have crocheted or hand knit a blanket, and I just wanted to get on here and show you guys how I do that. So hand knitting and crocheting, it's fairly easy. There's a learning curve when you first start, but it doesn't take very long once you get the hang of it. I typically can finish a blanket in a day. Um, it's not hard to mess up, and if you do mess up, it's very easy to go back and undo. And since Christmas is right around the corner, these make great gifts for people. Marin has made quite a few over the years for Christmas, birthdays, just really any occasion. And it's a great personalized gift since you can change the colors, the pattern, everything. So it's, it's really a great gift that we love to give to people. I am by no means a professional. I know there's things that I don't fully understand how to do. I'm definitely still learning, but I just wanted to share with you because I feel like I'm definitely still a beginner. And so I wanted to share with other beginners how I do it. And all you need to make this blanket is scissors, the yarn of your choice, and of course some time. And this is optional, but we'll be using a lighter. So this is the yarn that I like to use when I make blankets. It's very thick and chunky, and it's really warm as well. Um, I just get this from Hobby Lobby. It's $7.99 a skein. To make a queen size blanket, I think I used about 12 skeins. And the blanket that I'm gonna show you how to make, I'm only gonna use eight. This is one of the blankets that I actually just finished making. This is a Christmas gift for someone. Um, this one, I used eight skeins and it only took me about six hours start to finish. It was super simple. When I crochet, I personally like to watch a TV show or a movie. It makes the time go by really quick and it just makes it a lot more fun. So starting out, you wanna start with a simple slip crochet knot. So you just fold over like that and then take a little bit more, pull it through and then you wanna make sure it's tight. Then after that, you're just gonna pull through your yarn, just like that. So you make a loop, and then you pull it through, and you do that for the length of the blanket, however long you want it to be. I like to do mine about 30 knots long. So now my chain is completely done. I leave this last loop at the very end open. And then I'm just gonna take this yarn and I'm gonna pull it through each individual chain just right here up at the top. So I pull it through and I'm leaving the loops open so I could essentially do the same thing over and over for each row in order to hand knit this blanket. I just like to go through and count each loop before I move on, just to make sure I didn't miss any. So the next, you're just gonna take your yarn and just pull it through each loop, kind of like you did just a second ago, and you just leave another loop on the top, and go to the next one, pull it through, and you're just gonna continue on the rest of the row and we're gonna do this for pretty much the whole blanket until we get to the end and then I'm gonna show you how to end it. So you definitely wanna make sure your loops are all about the same size because if they're not, it kinda of messes with the tension of the blanket and it'll end up like really curvy and it won't lay flat and nice at the very end. So other than, you know, making sure my loops are all about the same size to make sure it's tensioned correctly, I also like to just lay it on the floor so it's on a nice flat surface instead of my lap because that's when it tends to get, you know, a little bumpy and different. Now I'm at the end of my first skein and I need to connect this to this. And a way that I like to do it to make it seamless is I actually melt the yarn together. So I just cut the tip off. And then I light the end like that and then just burn them together and then we're good. I did two stains for this first section that I want to do and now I want to do some white. And I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before, light the end, 
put it together. And then I just pull it through. And it ends up being completely seamless. You can't even tell that I switched the color. I just wanted to give a quick little update. I am three fifths of the way through the blanket. Um, it's taken me a little over two hours to do this. Right now, it's about four and a half feet wide. And lengthwise, I think the finished product will be a little over five feet long. Okay, so I'm done doing all the rows that I wanna do. And now I'm gonna show you guys how I finish off my blanket. So I'm just gonna do a simple line of crochet along the top. I'm gonna take this loop that I just finished and I'm gonna take the second loop as well. I'm gonna put my fingers through, take my yarn and just pull through like that and have a loop. I take the next loop and I do the same thing. I just pull through. So I just continue just like that along the rest of the top all the way down. Okay, so I finished crocheting the rest of the top of the blanket. And when I get to the very end, I'm still gonna make a loop like I would if I had more to go. But instead of continuing on, obviously, I'm going to take the end of my yarn and just pull it through this loop. And I'm gonna pull really hard and make a tight knot. And then after that, I'm left with these ends. What I like to do is I like to just trim it down a little bit. I light the end. and I just melt it onto the corner of the blanket right there. And it's completely seamless, and you can't even tell that it's there. I just wanted to give a little close up of the end of the blanket. I just burned it in right here, and you can't even tell it's completely seamless, which is one of the reasons that I prefer to do it. I know a lot of people like to weave in their ends and just leave them in the blanket. I prefer to just burn them in, and it is really stable, it holds up. This thing's pretty huge and it turned out great. It took me about four hours from start to finish. I definitely took some breaks in between. Um, I just measured it and it measures it about five and a half feet, which is super nice. I think it turned out really well. So that's all it takes. It's pretty simple, it's easy, and it just takes a little bit of time. So if you guys have any additional questions that Marin didn't answer in the video, please leave a comment down below and we will do our best to answer you. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.